Okay, so this is the Matuka Pro made by Arthur Jolly in Sao Paulo in Brazil. He hand built 13 of these this year and I was lucky enough to get my hands on one. I just wanted to put a video up to show what it could do and what it sounds like because there aren't very many of them so there won't be very much content online about them. It's a very unusually designed synth. It's got these uh, buttons here. Just a one octave keyboard down there you can play it like that you can play it using this which is a sequencer or you can play it over midi so it's a three oscillator synth all these oscillators are pretty much the same they have a very wide range of coarse tune a fine tune a pulse width control for the square wave a modulation control which roots either one of two modulation sources in the case of oscillator one it's oscillator three or a random sample and hold circuit it routes that through this mod depth into the oscillator's pitch finally down here you can select between three waveforms a ramp a triangle or click it over there and it becomes the pulse each oscillator has its own glide those oscillators are all the same except for oscillator three which you can either have as an oscillator in audio rates up there or if you flick it down there, it becomes an LFO, which is why, for instance, you can then use it as a modulation source for the first two oscillators or indeed a modulation source for the filter. This is the mixer section, so you can turn down one, two, three. It also has a white noise and pink noise generator. You can also click these switches to turn off and on the oscillators or at least turn off and on the, the signal that reaches the mixer. Everything runs out of that into this filter. The filter can be modulated by this envelope, clicking it over here, turning the modulation up. And this is going to be the envelope. It's got two settings, a long and a short. Or by clicking the switch over here, you're going to modulate the filter cutoff with either VCO3 or with that random sample and hold circuit. After that, everything goes down here into a standard amp envelope. You can bypass that by sending a signal just directly to the output that doesn't go through this envelope. This is a really nice thing because it just turns it into a kind of drone synth. And then everything goes into one final mixer, which has the clean signal, which is the signal we've been listening to so far. And then it also has two other knobs, one that sends the signal through this Russian tube, which is like a sort of valve amp that creates a nice crunchy distortion and saturation. And the other, the option to connect an external stomp box or guitar pedal. And this has a converter in it so that it will uh, take the, the signal from the stomp box and make it play nicely with the synth. These also have these nice switches to, to turn them on, so um, we can hear the clean signal. Okay, so let's turn up the um, separate tube circuit. This is the clean. circuit on its own. And we have three different controls that can control that, the tone. And then the output, which is, uh, I think, just a sort of output volume. So you can hear with, with the drive all the way up, 
it is uh, it's a really saturated sound. of uh, overtones. Okay, and I'll just run you through the sequencer very quickly. You can store up to 12 patterns. Let's just record one quickly, hit pattern one, then hit record, and you can input up to 32 notes. There I put in 19, so this will be a kind of strange pattern. Let's store it by hitting record and then we'll just play it by hitting run. One of the nice things is you can adjust its density, which means there it's playing every single note that I put in, but if you remove some of the density, it will just randomly pick some of the notes in that sequence and only play those, which is a good aid to help you create some patterns. Once it selects the notes it's going to play, it's just going to loop the same ones, but if you want to change the notes that it's selected, you can hit function and random. And it's playing a different sound of those notes. You can take the density all the way down. So it's just playing the very, very few. Let's randomize it. Matuka Pro from Arthur Jolly, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Arthur is continuing to make synths all the time, so if you're interested in learning more about the synths that he makes, or even getting one, you can follow him on Instagram. He follows this channel, and I'll stick his handle in the description. You can also follow him on YouTube and find some really nice demos of all of his synths or you can reach out and contact him and talk to him about ordering one of your own.